When you log into Wiley Plus, across the top you'll see Read, Study, and Practice, Assignment, Gradebook, and Orion. Read, Study, and Practice is where you can read your ebook, you can study additional resources, and you can do some practice quizzes that we've set up. So you want to click into Read, Study, and Practice to access your e-textbook. So across the top you have some banner items which we'll talk about in a different video. But down here you can select your chapter. So let's select chapter 8. The textbook will open and the textbook is just like the printed textbook except we have some additional resources in there. Reading your textbook is vitally important for organic chemistry. There's going to be some information that maybe you can't get from your professor just because there's not time. So you need to read your textbook. But what we've done is we've added additional multimedia resources and interactive features to help you understand better what is going on as you read through the textbook. So when you open it up, it's going to be exactly like your textbook. So word for word, you're going to have everything in there. But occasionally you're going to see some additional content that was not in your textbook. So as you read through this section one, you'll come down here, you'll see definitions for electrophiles and nucleophiles which you can hover over and then there's a video right here so you just click the plus button the video opens up you can watch that video and understand more about electrophiles and nucleophiles if you didn't understand from reading now if you don't need the video you don't have to access that particular video here's a 3d visualization so this actually will in a 3d molecular view show you what is happening in this particular reaction. So you're going to see as it comes up these 3D molecular visualizations and these are embedded also throughout the entire textbook. Continuing on you're going to see as you get into harder sections you're going to see things like mechanisms. So here's the mechanism for this reaction along with its energy diagram but maybe you want to practice that. So right below this mechanism is the availability of Mechanism Explorer to practice your mechanism. So you can come in here and you can draw in your arrows. Now there's videos, how-to videos on using Mechanism Explorer that are in Read, Study, and Practice. So make sure you avail yourself of those videos. They're up in the banner and there's another video I'm creating that talks all about the banner and that um, resources that are available there. So we can draw in our arrows. We can attempt to do the mechanism will be told if it's correct or incorrect by feedback right underneath. So all throughout the textbook you're going to have these mechanisms. Here's an energy diagram and then a video on using the energy diagram. Another mechanism and then another resource right there. So here's a video explaining this particular mechanism. So you're going to see these all throughout the textbook and they really help break up some of the reading so you read a little bit watch the video if you need to and then just keep going on like that some sections are going to have a lot of content so here we have a mechanism and then we have a mechanism explorer that you can practice on we have a video explaining the mechanism and a 3d animation so you got all of that for that particular mechanism there are solve problems throughout the book and solve problem videos there uh, some of the practice problems have an answer, so you can just click on that to get the answers. Others don't. There's a solution manual available if you want to purchase that that answers all of these questions. Again, you can see all these resources. So you got these videos, the video icons. This is a text, so it's an additional um, section that's not in the textbook on the chemistry of cholesterol biosynthesis. As we proceed, so here we have we're into section 15 we have another mechanism so here we're looked at we're told this mechanism and then you can practice that mechanism right beneath there and then there's also rollover icons all throughout so this is um, about Sharpless winning the Nobel Prize you can just roll over that and get that information we also have interactive concept maps all throughout the chapter so here's an interactive concept map it's empty right now or partially empty and you can fill it in by dragging in the oops, by dragging in the reagents into the appropriate place so this is showing a reaction scheme including the electrophile nucleophile regiochemistry stereochemistry and you can practice on this dragging and dropping 
Um, you can view the completed scheme if you want to view that and then hide it and try it again. And then this interactive comes in a different variation where the electrophiles and nucleophiles now are missing and then another one where the regio and stereochemistry are missing. One of the last resources available in the chapter, so once again you look through, there's a solve problem video, another solve problem video, a mechanism, and a mechanism explorer, are these flashcards. So we can open up these flashcards, reaction drill, they're called products missing, so the products are missing. You can just click in there and the product will appear. You can also access them so that the reagents are missing, the reactants are missing, or just a random mixture. Also on these, which is really neat, so this particular mechanism, if you wanted to see more about this, like you know, this flashcard shows this reaction, but if you wanted to see the mechanism, you can click the mechanism button and it will open up that flashcard as a mechanism where you can once again come in and practice on that mechanism just like before. So you get feedback, if you get it wrong, you'll get feedback down here. If you need anything more on these um, resources, they're all up here in the banner icon and then there's a how-to videos on how to use them. So what you want to do is use your e-textbook, read it, look at the resources you need to, and that really will help you understand organic chemistry better.